Okay, so maybe. Okay. Um, tonight we're going to. No, go for thirty. I love you. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Tonight we're going to go over some social media stuff. <clears throat> I went through the surveys. Um, for those of you that were able to do that, thank you very much. Um, I got a lot of information out of that. A big part of it was posting and um, Instagram and customer acquisition and retention, which can be very big with our social media. Um, so I just want to touch base on some things, and then if you guys have some more questions, um, we can hit on those a little bit more in depth. But I am actually doing John Eric's um, social media group right now, and I'm absolutely loving it. So I'm going to keep sharing little tidbits as I can um, with you guys. But um, one of the biggest things with our social media is we need to make sure that we're being thoughtful, okay? And we're not just looking like a salesy ad. I had a friend the other day say that he's not even on Facebook much anymore because he feels like it's just somebody's trying to sell him stuff when he opens his phone. It's either someone's trying to sell him stuff or the people are talking about politics and other things that he just doesn't want to be bothered with during the day. There's no more connecting with people. There's no more thoughtfulness. There's no more sharing of emotions and celebrating and, and those kind of things that social media used to be. So um, yes, this can be huge for our business and it has been for me. Um, I would probably say 95% of my business has been on Facebook. Um, I'm still, as uh, John Eric would call it, janky on Instagram. I'm still not getting it down. I mean, that's my biggest thing I'm working on is to try to try to get that up and going. Um, but in both ways, not just posting a bunch of product pictures or posting a bunch of join my team pictures and really being thoughtful because with Instagram, that's, that's how you really reach your followers and stuff like that um, is the connecting. So first and foremost, um, like I said, being thoughtful. One way that you can do that, uh, I've started every morning going and checking birthdays. And I go and say happy birthday to everybody. If I'm really close to them, um, I send them a message. Because one of the biggest ways to start connecting with people and showing up in their news feeds and having them show up in your news feeds so that you can be more intentional with them and really see what's going on and make connections, comment on their photos, like their photos, their posts, is sending them a message. If they open a message from you, Facebook algorithm takes that as you guys are really connecting, and it's going to push more stuff for you guys to keep doing that. So um, not just simply posting on their wall, but going and sending them, hey, happy birthday, starting a conversation with them. Um, so I've been trying to really stay up on that. If I miss a day or two, I go and I try to put something kind of cute like, you know, People might say I suck, but I just wanted to extend your birthday celebrations a couple of days, so I waited so that you could still feel special. Kind of something like that. And they actually, all the ones that I have done that, have got on and commented, which is even more of a connecting than them just liking it. Um, so that is one way. Um, another way is smart lists on Facebook. Um, and that is, like, when you're adding new friends, which you want to try to do often, every day. But be intentional with that, too, because you'll get put in Facebook jail um, if you're just going and adding a bunch. Like, if you open someone's friend list and you just click friend, 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 they're going to block you, okay? It, and they'll send you a message, and you'll be cut off because they don't want you spamming people. I don't want you spamming people. You don't want to be spamming people. That's going to be bad for your business, okay? Um, go to your friend's that you're close to, I, um, when I see a post that's getting a lot of um, traffic on it and I'm reading the comments and I'm connecting with them, then I go and check out their profile. First of all, I want to check out what they're posting because some people can be pretty 
not cute on Facebook, and I don't want to be friends with them. I don't want that stuff in my newsfeed. Um, I don't want Facebook pushing more of that into my newsfeed because I friend them. Um, I don't want weirdos seeing stuff that I'm posting. Yet, I mean, yes, it's public, but I don't need more connection than they can already do on their own. Um, but go check them out and thoughtfully add some friends. Not all of them are going to accept your friend request, and that's okay. Um, but some of them will. And as they accept my friend request, I go to their profile, and I can show you. Um, let me share my screen really quick. I... Miranda, can you see my screen? Only because I can see you. Okay. Um, when I go to my friends list on my profile, if you, I think it's here. If you go to manage friends, you have to do this from desktop view. You can't set up lists on your phone. Um, but I can show you how to add them on your phone. Um, yep, that's not it. Hold on. Three. Yep, I got it. Yep. Okay, good. Are you, can you also show them how to check for the unaccepted friend request? Because if they have too many, then they'll get um, um Like this? I don't know how to do that. Hold on. I'm never on the computer anymore. Oh, right here. Okay, let me go back. Yeah, right so if you go to your profile, maybe hold on. I need to use this here. Um, and you go to friend requests. Um, here you can see people that are requesting you, okay? Um, and then right here it says view sent requests. And if you have a bunch of these, this is the guy I went to high school with, and he's like famous in a lot of movies, like he's in Fantastic Four. And I thought I was cool enough to be his friend. Obviously, I'm not. Okay. Um, I'll find him. Anyways, so these are people that I've sent requests to. Okay. Um, and what Crystal's saying is if you have too many of those sitting there, then Facebook is going to realize, like, you're sending all these requests. People don't like you, and they want to be your friend, and they're going to stop accepting them. Yeah. Uh, I can for that reading. But... Um, make sure you're staying on top of that because I think you can cancel. Yeah, you can cancel the request. So, like, if it's been a while and you know legit, um, obviously they're just not wanting to connect, you can cancel that so that it clears out your back. Um, so then... I'm back in my friends and recently added. So when people do request my friend request, I will go and I come here on the desktop. I can come here and I can add them to a list. And I have a specific list like she's already added and it's called the intentional. So even on my phone, I can find this list, and this will only show me all of these people in this group in a feed so that I can go and really focus on them and love on them, okay? I can go and make sure that I'm liking their photos. I'm seeing their stuff that's real time. I don't have to go back days and look like I'm stalking their page. Um, it's stuff that they've been posting, and I can make those connections. Hopefully... Um, start a relationship with them or even just so that they'll see our stuff, okay? Um, if you have alligator arms, you can avoid picking up the jack. What? What you do? You want to save 15% or more in car insurance? The guys are muted. Um, Crystal, where do I go to edit my list? I always find it by accident. 
What do you mean edit? Like to set up a list for them to set up a list if they've never set up. Oh, one. right where you just were. You click on the person, add to new list, and then you'll have an option for a new list. Create a list. Add to another list. Oh, right here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Um, so if you guys have never set up a list, it makes smart lists for you. That's what this little um, lightning bolt is. Like it automatically puts people in the list for you. Number one, Mr. Um, Geico. But you can come down here and like create a new list so that your wedding. <laughs> okay, is anyone else hearing that Geico commercial, or is it? Am I getting like crazy feed? I hear it too. Okay. All right, somebody has their microphone off, or do you have radio on back in the background? Hearing like, oh, Maria. There you go. Okay. I love you. Right. But awesome, sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, so that can be really helpful. So, like, if I do this, right, guys, um, when I go over here on my left hand side, I can come down like this okay, and click more and I can come where to go. To be intentional. I have 20 new posts that I haven't seen since I've been on here. And I can legitimately come and really connect with these people. Okay. And these, a lot of these are girls that I've talked to about being um, an LC, like we've had conversations, they're on my follow-up list, and they're just not ready. Um, some of them are just people that I just added so that I want to make sure that I'm um, making that connection and forming that relationship with them, and um, those kind of things. The other thing is, is when I go to post, like right there, I could have posted to them. But also right here, when you go to post, you can click on here and go to more options and choose that list. And then your post will only go to those people. Okay? Like if you make a list for yourself that is just your LCs and you want to make sure that they're really seeing something important, but you don't want everybody else to see it, you can do that and post it and it'll push it out to just them, not everyone on your news feed and your friends list. Okay, so just being more intentional and more thoughtful with what you're posting. Um, one thing John Eric also says is a lot of times, and I still try, I try to do the 3-3 rule just to make sure that I'm balancing stuff, but in the same sense, integrating your business into your post rather than trying to balance them because then it will look like here's an ad, here's an ad, oh, there's her babies, oh, here's another ad, oh, there's her food that she probably shouldn't be eating. You know what I mean? Just whatever. Oh, she's shopping and she's doing this or what. It's, there's no connection. Like they can't see. When you start making those connections and people start seeing that you believe in the business and it's a part of your life, that's when you're going to start pulling those DTs in too. Okay, you can make amazing posts about the product and, you know, post after post and you're doing your 3-3 three, three and you're doing this and you're doing that and you're pulling LCs but you can't find a distributor those distributors are going to come when they believe and they can see that, okay, if it's working for her, then I can trust her to help me and it, it should work for me. So you've got to, they've got to be able to see that and make that connection too. Um, like with Crystal, Crystal posts a lot about her hair and like things that she likes about her hair. When she, <laughs> when she is, um, on Instagram, she goes and searches certain hashtags, right? And she'll go and love on people's stuff for that specifically and starts connecting with people that way too, okay? And when she's making those connections, she's inviting those people into her adventure and into her posting to see what she's doing day after day. And then they're going to eventually see a business post here or there because she does post about it, okay? So invite them in to your life legitimately and then they'll catch yeah. the business if you're real about it go ahead yep. they people people feel like they know me 
because of how much I share about the things that I like. They know that I like sushi. They know that I chew on ice. They know that I hate the sound of chewing. They know that I like funky hair. And people, when they see a post, they tag me in it because they, they're, they're watching. So I've invited them into my life, even though I post about it works. I'm not in a nuisance where people are actually watching and they don't mind liking a ton of my stuff because I'm not being obnoxious. I'm not just like, hey, give me your money, give me your money, give me your money, give me your money, give me your money. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's very important to make sure that your posts are intentional and they're, they're connecting with somebody. You know, and that's, again, that goes back to knowing your audience before you're making a post. Not just making it generalized, like, I hope someone sees my ad and they're so desperate to lose weight that they'll contact me. Probably not going to happen. They, they look at you first. Are you somebody that they want to buy from? All right. This weekend, I, I was joking. I had messaged Crystal and I told her I wasn't coming back from Daytona because I don't remember. Um, I don't think I signed an LC in March. I signed three LCs this weekend just from like posting about what I was doing this weekend and throwing fat fighters into it because I was taking it and my green and that like people started asking questions because they saw they were more interested in my news feed seeing what I was doing in Daytona and then liking and commenting on that stuff and they were seeing the other stuff integrated into it um on like this post today I legit you guys have no idea what I'm doing with makeup I'm not even kidding I never learned how to put it on um, I'll throw mascara on an eyeliner just to, like, I mean, I know how to, like, outline a coloring book, and that's how I feel with my eyes, but I posted this today, and it was just a picture from It Works, and I connected with a lot of other girls that don't usually, I wouldn't think, see my stuff, because they never like it, they never comment on it. I have three girls that wear makeup all the time that didn't know we had toner, and I've had a conversation with them periodically throughout the day because today's been hectic. And I plan on making sure that I definitely touch base with them again tonight. But they didn't even know we had toner, you know. But this caught their eye because I was asking for makeup advice. And I legit need it. Um, but again, like, I just, I, it was a natural kind of thing. It wasn't like, hey, buy this toner for this, you know. Um, and then, I mean, I don't know other stuff um you guys do really awesome posts a lot um but I, some people had asked about that we have our post of the day thread on the group uh if you find it make sure you save it like if you ever have a post and you click this little arrow over here and you click save post that puts it over in your saved stuff over here so you can always go and find it okay so like um, post of the day thread is right here. So I don't have to go and like try to search it because for some reason when I type in post of the day, it does not come up in the group. I save it over here. I just go there. I click it. If I want to grab something out of there or if I want to tag somebody on it, it's right there. So if you guys ever need to find it, that's an easy way to find and keep stuff. Okay. Um, all right. So let me see. Oh, when you're posting also, when you do do a business post, like legit about, you know, joining this business and being on this team, um, Crystal has said this before, really think about who you're posting to, okay? I've caught myself too lately, like I had all these alarms on my phone, I was going to post at 7 and 10 and 1 and who the heck am I posting to? Nobody that I'm really close to really um, other than a handful of people are able to be on their phone at that time because a lot of people that I would really like to connect with for this business are working at those times. Okay, they're working at 10 o'clock. They're in traffic at seven and shouldn't be on their phone and I shouldn't be on my phone posting it, which is another thing I can kind of touch base on. Um, at one o'clock, I'm going crazy with my kids. Like other people are just off lunch break. I totally miss them sitting in the break room scrolling through their phone wondering like when is it time to go home? I would really not like to be here. I like to be home with my babies. Like I need to hit them at the right time. 
So when you sit down to make a post or when you sit down to schedule your post in like um, Hootsuite or Buffer, or there's a couple of apps that you can actually schedule post to post for you while you are working or if you know you're going to be busy during the day. Um, think about who you want to read it and write it to them. Okay. I'm not saying like, hey, Christina, I really think like just how you would have a conversation with someone or you know, what's going to have them feel something, you know, something that you felt, something that's going to have them feel something, okay? Um, I think there's another F. I think it's, like, future or something. Um, I like F words. They're my favorite. But um, <laughs> that is really big, too, okay? Then, then you're pulling away from that salesy ad, too. You're being intentional. You're being thoughtful. Uh, when you're following up on Fridays, I've had to catch myself with this too. Rather than, hey, we talked about you trying the wraps. Are you ready? Like, start the conversation with something you saw in their newsfeed that's been happening. Okay? Like, you know, start a conversation with them. Be thoughtful. Connect with them. And then let the conversation flow. A lot of times, if you're really serious about wanting to try it, they're going to bring it up. Okay? Um, be a friend. Be a friend. Make more friends. Um, uh, the other thing is, like, I have um, three spots for the wrap challenge this month, okay? Um, after conference, re the, the ones that us, of us that went really started thinking about it. Um, when you make those posts, yeah, sometimes it shows some urgency. Um, but in the same sense, some of our LCs, I mean, a lot of our LCs, we would want to turn around and be distributors with us because they're loving the product, and then they, they can turn around and make money doing this. In the, you know what I mean? Like, I love that you're making me money, but why don't you come do this with me and make money for yourself and still get your product at the same price? Like, it just makes sense. But when they start getting training from us and they realize that you have these unlimited number of spots and you pretty much trick them into signing up at one time. Like, I feel like it's kind of untruthful. Um, I mean, sometimes it goes. Some, like, when you say, like, I legit have my heart set on helping three, at least three people this month start their business, um, I mean, that's a little bit different. But don't just say, I only have two more spots. Like, no, you don't. You have, like, 200, please, because we need volume. And we like our checks to go up, okay? Don't focus on two, because then you'll stop it. Um, I love you guys. <laughs> um, okay, so Facebook. That works for Facebook and Instagram. Um, but a couple little things for Instagram that I have been trying to focus on. First and foremost, like your profile, guys. Um, when you go and look at your, your little chart page or whatever they call it, I'm not um, let me see. When you open your Instagram, right, and then you go to the profile part. Yeah, I'm gonna walk myself through this. Um, one thing that John Hare Eric has suggested is try to make your names like carry over onto the different platforms that you're using. Okay, so that people make those connections. Also, um. Instagram will let you post to Facebook, but you don't want them to mirror each other because you're going to bore people if they're on both of your platforms, all right? Um, the, okay, so your profile picture. The, he says, like, take your photo with good lighting. Like, we all know that. I'm learning that. Um, my 14. My 13-year-old sister taught me how to take a selfie last summer, um, and I've been trying to work on that. But um, make sure that, like, it's not totally, like, crazy. Obviously, you want them to see you and not something fake, but you don't want it to be, like, off-putting business-wise, professionally, okay? Um, and then when you look at your first nine pictures on your Facebook, your first three rows, right? 
You don't want that to be vomiting at work. That's not, that's not cute. That's not something that I want to go and be all up in if I'm not anything part of the business, okay? Um, so invite them in, you know, show them what you're like as a person. If you have a couple here and there, cool. Also, okay. just going back and like, how, Ray, tell them how to not make an earth nine picture. What do they do to go back? Do what? Go back and delete them, right? Yeah, show them how to do that because not everyone knows how to do okay. that. That's a, um, so if you go, let me find one that's old. Um, okay, so like this right here, right? This was like all the way, hold on, not. So, like, this is way down. I'm going to go here because it's pretty old from April 13th. These three little dots up here, you're going to come up and you're just going to pull it out. Okay? So now, I mean, I have it in my camera roll. If I ever want to look back on it, it's not like I'm deleting a memory. Um, but it pulls that out of there, and then now I have, like, a good couple of them with the kids and everything sitting in there. And some quotes. And you, I'm big with you guys feet. should do this probably every three days. Go through your feed and clean up any pictures. Obviously, if you have likes, give it your likes, write their names down, or send them a DM. I keep the picture. If I have people that like something, I'll keep that picture on there until I'm done responding with it, until that person responds to me so I know that they've seen it. But once that communication's done, I'll delete those pictures. So go through every three days, check your likes if you haven't already, send them a DM, and then delete that picture if there's no activity on it. So that way, that's how you keep your profile clean. Another thing, I'm just going to throw this in here while I'm talking. Um, another thing that he said, try not to have too much of the same thing. I have a bad habit of putting a lot of inspiration pictures next to each other. So if he, you know, if you see two or more of the same type of picture, like if you have, you know, quotes or something like that, you want to go through and delete that also. So there's a variety of picture. You want to make sure, that's like your advertisement, if people are going to accept your friend request or not. So make sure you just keep it really pretty and you keep it nice. The other thing he talked about was your bio on there. Um, like, First and foremost, like, can you skim it and quickly, like, get a gist of who this person is, right? Um, John Eric loves emojis, but even me, like, I've been looking at people. I don't know if I'm just, like, like um, wired to do this now because of all the training, but I really do like it. Like, you know, seeing just a little bit of not just words sitting on the page. I don't want to read all that. Like, something that's going to catch my attention, catch their attention, something they're going to connect with. Like, my mom's. Mine says, wife and mommy of three, saltwater addict, football fanatic, movie junkie, pasta weakness, nail designs. Like, somebody that really likes nail designs that I've gone and tried to connect with and like their pictures and stuff like that. When they come see my profile, they'll see that. And they okay. And I also want to point out, none of that said, rap girl, it works distributor, None of it said that because she doesn't want people to immediately be like, oh my gosh, it's another It Works spammer. So don't have that in your profile. I have a diamond. I need to change it. Um, and then the other thing that he says is put your Facebook link in there. And that goes along with having your, your names be the same. Like you can change your Facebook actual thing where it's not all those letters and numbers that people can like legit type in and go to your profile put your face don't put your business address in there put your well obviously we can't because it's always blocked on everything but put your facebook thing on there so that they can go and connect with you on facebook too okay for me that's really good because i really have to work on posting on instagram as it is if they go to my facebook they're totally up in the app because i'm sure like hardcore so um Definitely put your Facebook link on there. Um, we're going to run out of time on this one, so we might want to restart. But um, like I was saying, like engaging on Instagram, one way that you can do that to start finding new followers 
You want to make sure also that your followers and who you're following, that number stays pretty close. He says within like 15% of each other. Um, you don't want to be following all these people and like 100 people are following you. Because then when people come to see your profile, like I hear my kids talk about it all the time, like you don't have any followers, you're not cool. Um, like that's the lingo for Instagram. Like that's how people really connect with you. Um, so, but to go and engage and start pulling more followers and following other people, um, searching by hashtags, okay, or searching by location. Like, again, think about who you want on your team. Think about who could use some rap. Think about who could use some relief or extra rhythm. Where are they at and what are they doing? Okay? Moms that I want to connect with on Saturdays are probably at the ball field watching their kid play soccer or baseball. So I need to find a hashtag for like baseball mom or, you know, boy mom or something like that, okay? Or they're at the mall shopping, buying stuff. I don't know what they're buying. If they're mom, some moms that I want to connect with need money for their babies, so they probably won't be at the mall. Um, you know what I mean? They're at the park for free, you know, having family time, that kind of stuff, in the pool. Um, just think about who you want to connect with and why. And there's, I mean, you can, I can't really see it on here. We can do it from my phone and I can screen share my phone um, if you guys want to do that. Another thing for being intentional really quick um, that I really like and I need to get into it a little bit more is like John Eric suggests he has like a 10 point system for himself where he cannot touch his notifications or his messages in the morning because that's kind of selfish. Like, oh, who liked my stuff or who sent me messages? Let me go and connect with other people and really be thoughtful. First thing, fresh, start my day fresh. Um, you get one point for liking something about somebody else's and he says he gives himself five points for commenting on something. And he cannot touch his notifications or his messages until he gets 10 points. I mean, it's like a little, if you're a red and you like competition, you like a little challenge, that probably appeals to you. Okay, the yellow, going and talking to other people first, um, that will appeal to you. Um, churning, like, like, she, like Crystal mentioned about, you know, the friend requests that you sent and, um, they don't send them back and, and pulling that out and going and looking elsewhere. Also on Instagram, there's apps that you can download that show you like, you know, you follow these people and you haven't been followed back in so many days. Odds are they're not interested. So go unfollow them because they, you know, you're not making that connection with them. You have other people that you could go and be intentional with that really might end up mattering to them. Um, he says, when you follow somebody, 14% chance that they will follow you back. When you follow and like something of theirs, there's a 22% chance. When you follow, like, and comment on something of theirs, there's a 34% chance that they will follow you back and you'll make that connection. Okay, so once again, engage with them. Be intentional with them. Okay, not just go through and follow, follow, follow 100 times you're going to get locked out of that too, kind of like Facebook jail, um, go find the real people, okay? Um, go through your, your Facebook contacts and follow people from them on Instagram, okay? Vice versa. My Facebook thing has a little Instagram thing now, and it's kind of stressing me out. I don't want to touch it because I don't know what it does, but it's probably going to make that connection on Facebook for me, and I might end up pulling people onto Facebook. I don't know. I'm gonna check that out. And I'll the Instagram thing just it connects to Instagram. It just puts you right into Instagram on all your friends that have made posts. Oh. oh. It won't blow up. You'll be fine. It won't, it won't suck you into Instagram world. I've been scared touch it. <laughs> just touch it. You know you want to touch it. <laughs> um I mean I'm looking at his notes from this stuff. Like, seriously guys. Don't worry about how many times you post. Really focus yourself on what you're posting and why you're posting it, okay? Not how many times. More quality than quantity. 
Um, I'm not saying only post once a day about your business. Please don't take me saying that. Um, because, I mean, another thing, don't think people are sick and tired of seeing what you're posting. If they are, bye, Felicia, see you later, okay? Because only about 7% of your friends see your posts that you post at a time, okay? Not all 1,000 friends that you have on Facebook are seeing every single one of your posts. So, again, another reason to kind of take stuff off that's old, you can go and post an old post again that you posted a month or two ago, okay? The only people that are going to know that you did it already are like us, that we've seen it, but I don't care, you're working. Like, pick the ones that had good engagement. Maybe you'll get some new people on there. I posted that 13 the other day on Friday. That thing blew up, and some of the people have no idea who they are, but I went, and if they showed me a picture, I went and commented and engaged with them and, you know, went back and forth, and I made connections with people I didn't even know were my friends on to be quite honest. Um, but it also wasn't the same ones that, like, everybody keeps posting. Like, you'll see it, and then, like, 50 other people post the same thing. Try to come up with things that are new, okay? Um, I'm going to turn this off because it's going to cut us off. I'm going to restart it. So if you click on the link again, so we can open up some questions, um, and then we can jump back in. because It's going to take us out. So just use the same link. I'm going to restart it in just a second. And we didn't get a picture, so please get back on. <laughs> 